Hi friends, my name is Sophie and welcome to your easy beginner yoga flow. We are going to get started on our backs. You don't need any props for today. So just get your mat and come on down and lay onto your back and bring your feet together and your knees wide. Place your hands on your belly and close your eyes. First of all, thank yourself for showing up, for rolling out your mat and starting the video. That's the hardest part. And then take a moment to find your breath. Begin to lengthen out the inhales and the exhales. Feel the belly rise and fall with the breath underneath your hands. In through your nose, out of your mouth. Now take your arms overhead into a cactus shape and draw your knees up, feet flat on the ground. Take your feet as wide as the mat and let both knees fall over to the right side. Just feel this nice opening of the front body. You may feel a little stretch here in the front of the left hip or the lower back. Bring your knees back up and drop them over to the left. Remember your feet stay wide. Your arms stay out into a cactus shape or a goalpost shape. Good, bring your knees back up to center and then hug your knees into your chest. I like to hold on to two fingers here with one hand, but you can do what feels good to you. And then rock side to side here so you can feel your back rocking side to side. You can feel the back of your head moving. Just get everything moving and it feels like a little, nice little massage for the lower back. And then take your arms again out to a cactus shape. Keep your knees up and drop your knees all the way over to the right. Try to get the knees like in line with your belly button. Most likely you feel this through the chest or the upper back, maybe through the left hip. Just take two more breaths here, slow, long breaths. Just starting to slow everything down. giving ourselves permission to slow down, to feel our bodies. Now bring your knees back up and drop them all the way to the left. Again, get them up in line with your, your belly button. And you can look over to the right or you can look up. And it's a really nice twist is what we're doing here. A twist for the spine. And twists are so good for our spines. Take one more full breath. And bring the knees up to center. Good. And then from here, we're going to come up to a tabletop. So you're just going to rock yourself right up into a seat and then come into a tabletop position. So you're on your hands and knees. Your wrists are right under your shoulders. Your hips are right over your knees. And we'll take cat cows here, which you might may or may not be familiar with. But as you inhale, you, you tilt your pelvis forward, which means your belly drops down and you, you arch into your low back. And then you pull your shoulders back. So that's cow. And then exhale for cat. You round your spine. You push into the ground and bring your chin into your chest. So inhale, open up the chest and drop the belly down. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, open up. Once more. Exhale, round. So we're really moving the spine all in different ways here. And then come back into neutral. Good. Step your right foot between your hands. 
And if you need to use the hand to get it up there, that's fine. And then slide your left leg back behind you. A lot of the times I see people, they're too short here with their legs. So then they're right over the left knee and that's not very comfortable and it kind of doesn't do what we want it to do. So slide your back leg back, untuck your toes. You have a nice long lunge here. Your knee, right knee is right over your right ankle. Good. Now reach your arms up if you can to the sky. If that's if the balance is off there, just put your hands onto your front thigh. Draw your your belly in so your core is strong. Inhale here. And then exhale, put your hands back down to the ground and straighten your right leg. So once you straighten your right leg, you wanna lift your toes up, the bottom of your foot up, and then slide your heel forward a little bit or pick it up and move it a little bit forward so that your hips are right over your back knee. Um, one thing I see uh, people do when they first start yoga is they sit all the way back here and you really don't, it's really not as effective and that's not really the pose. We want to be up here with our hips over our knee and then lengthen your spine and imagine like there's a string attached to your chest and somebody is pulling it forward or someone's pulling forward with a rope and so you're lifting, lifting, lifting your chest, drawing your shoulders back flexing your right foot as much as you can so the toes draw back to the shin. And take two more breaths here. Make sure you're lifting with your chest, not your neck. So make sure you're looking just at the front of the mat so your neck is long. Inhale. Then on your exhale, come back into lunge where we started. And then step back into tabletop. Now we'll step the left foot between your hands and come into a nice long lunge like we talked about. The right leg is back, the toes are untucked on that back foot and you're pressing down. And then if you can, you're gonna rise up and reach the arms up. It's a great stretch for that hip, uh, the right out front of the right hip um, on this side. Squeeze the hips together, reach the arms up, inhale. And exhale, release, slowly release your hands to the ground. So every time we're moving between poses, we're moving slowly and intentionally. And then straighten your left leg. And so you'll, when you first go into it, you'll be a little too far back. So you'll want to slide your front heel forward slightly. And then lift and lengthen your spine. Flex your foot. So we are stretching the hamstrings. We're stretching the calf muscles. Deepen and slow down your breath. We're just working on being present with the body. One more breath here. Good, bend your left knee, come back into lunge, and then step back into tabletop. Puppy pose, so walk your hands forward and put your forehead down onto the ground. Keep your hips lifted to the sky. Your forehead rests on the ground. You crawl your fingertips forward if you can. And we feel a stretch through the lats, through the sides of the body, the torso, through the upper back, through the mid back. Can you drop your chest down a little more? And slowly come back up into tabletop. Good. From here, step your right foot outside of your right hand. Lizard lunge. So your right knee moves out to the right. Really let it open to the right like a door. And take a couple deep breaths here. You can even let the roll onto the outer edge of the right foot a little bit so the bottom of the foot is kind of lifting from the inside part of your right foot. Remember the back toes are untucked. Go take one more breath. And then make your way back into tabletop and step your left foot outside of your left hand. Slide your right knee back, untuck your toes, let the left knee move out to the left. And it's okay to have a little movement here. I like to rock a little side to side. So we're stretching to the outer left hip and then you'll feel it in the front of the right hip as well. And 
This is another one where you really want to make sure your back leg is as far back as you can get it. Take one more breath. And then step back into tabletop. Good. Now we're going to sit on a sit upright on our knees. So if you're on a hard floor, you can roll up your mat a little bit to give yourself some padding or you can put, sit, put your knees on a blanket. So I'm going to come to face you here. So you're on your knees, you're upright, reach your arms up, grab onto your left wrist, go up and move over to the side for a side bend. Make sure that you're not uh, shifting the hips forward and dumping into the low back. Can you draw your low ribs inwards? Now reach back up, grab onto your wrist, go up and over. So we're just switching sides. Now you're bending to the left side. Good, come back up to the center and release your arms down. And take three shoulder rolls back. Good. And then we'll come back, uh, we'll come into a seated position to end here. So you're going to choose. You can sit on your heels like I am if you can, or you can sit cross-legged. And they might, both of those might be a little uncomfortable um, if you're a little tighter in your lower body, and that's okay. Just sit tall wherever you are. Close your eyes, and we'll just take a deep breath in. And out of your mouth, let go of anything you're holding on to. Good, reach your arms straight up as you inhale again. And bring your hands to your heart. Good. Release your hands down. Thank you so much for practicing today. That is your short practice. If you enjoyed it, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know you're here. I would love to know if you enjoyed it, what you'd like to have next. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye.